Today is the day that the Church especially remembers the ministry and work of Mark the Evangelist, the writer of the Gospel of Mark. And uh, this was the first Gospel that was written down, and others clearly used it as a source for their Gospels too. So Mark the Evangelist we remember today. O Lord, open our lips and we will proclaim your praise. We read together from Psalm 37 and we'll read from verse 23 down to verse 41. When your steps are guided by the Lord, you delight in his way. Though you stumble, you shall not fall headlong, for the Lord holds you fast by the hand. I have been young and now am old. Yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging bread. All the day long they are generous in lending, and their children also shall be blessed. Depart from evil and do good, and you shall abide forever. For the Lord loves the thing that is right, and will not forsake his faithful ones. The unjust shall be destroyed forever, and the offspring of the wicked shall be rooted out. The righteous shall possess the land and dwell in it forever. The lips of the righteous utter wisdom, and their tongue speaks the things that is right. The law of their God is in their hearts, and their footsteps shall not slide. The wicked spy on the righteous, and seek occasion to slay them. The Lord will not leave them in their hand, nor let them be condemned when they are judged. Wait upon the Lord, and keep his way. He will raise you up to possess the land, and when the wicked are uprooted, you shall see it. I myself have seen the wicked in great power, and flourishing like a tree in full leaf. I went by, and lo, they are gone. I sought them, but could find them nowhere. Keep innocence, and heed the thing that is right, for that will bring you peace at the last. But all sinners shall perish together, and the posterity of the wicked shall be rooted out. The salvation of the righteous comes from the Lord. He is their stronghold in time of trouble. The Lord shall stand by them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and shall save them because they put their trust in him. Those last two verses are especially encouraging. It, they don't say that we will never have trouble, but in trouble, the, the Lord is our stronghold. He will stand by us. He never lets us go. He never fails us. He stands by us in all our trials and testings. And now we read Psalm 148. Alleluia. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all you his angels. Praise him, all his host. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you stars of light. Praise him, heaven of heavens and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded, and they were created. He made them fast for ever and ever, and gave them a law which will not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea monsters and all deeps, fire and hail, snow and mist, tempestuous wind fulfilling his word, mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild beasts and all cattle, creeping things and birds on the wing, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the world, young men and women, old and young together, let them praise the name of the Lord. For his name only is exalted, his splendour above heaven and earth. He has raised up the horn of his people, and praise for all his faithful servants, the children of Israel, a people who are near him. Hallelujah. Yes, we praise the Lord, young and old together, men and women together, from all around the world, we worship the Lord together and give him the praise and glory that is due to his name. Our Old Testament reading is Isaiah 62, verses 6 to 10. Upon your walls, O Jerusalem, I have posted sentinels. All day and all night they shall never be silent. You who remind the Lord, take no rest and give him no rest until he establishes Jerusalem and makes it renowned throughout the earth. The Lord has sworn by his right hand and by his mighty arm, I will not give your grain to be food for your enemies, and foreigners shall not drink the wine for which you have laboured, but those who garner it shall eat it and praise the Lord. 
Those who gather it in shall drink it in my holy courts. Go through, go through the gates, prepare the way of the people. Build up, build up the highway, clear it of stones. Lift up an ensign over the peoples. I like that line. You who uh, are before the Lord, you remind the Lord, take no rest and give him no rest. Don't give the Lord a moment's rest until he answers our prayers. Like um, Jacob, cling to the angels. I will not let you go. So we cling unto the Lord and will not let him go. Acts chapter 12, verse uh, 25 to verse 13, 13. After completing their mission, Barnabas and Saul returned to Jerusalem and brought with them John, whose other name was Mark. Now in the church at Antioch, there were prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manian, a member of the court of Herod, the ruler, and Saul. While they were worshipping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then after fasting and praying, they laid their hands on them and sent them off. So being sent out by the Holy Spirit, they went down to Seleucia, and from there they sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived at Salamis, they proclaimed the word of the Lord in the synagogues of the Jews, and they had John there also to assist them. When they had gone through the old island as far as Paphros, they met a certain magician, a Jewish false prophet named Bar Jesus. He was the proconsul. He was with the proconsul Sergius Paulus, an intelligent man, who summoned Barnabas and Saul and wanted to hear the word of God. But the magician Elymas, for that is the translation of his name, opposed them and tried to turn the proconsul away from the faith. But Saul, also known as Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked at, intently at him and said, You son of the devil, you enemy of all righteousness, full of all deceit and villainy, will you not stop making crooked the straight paths of the Lord? And now listen, the hand of the Lord is against you, and you will be blind for a while, unable to see the sun. Immediately mist and darkness came over him, and he went about groping for someone to lead him by the hand. When the proconsul saw what happened, he believed, for he was astonished at the teaching about the Lord. Then Paul and his companions set off from Paphras. They came to Perga in Pamphylia. John, however, left them and returned to Jerusalem. This is a, a strange reading for a day that we're honouring uh, Mark. Uh, because here Mark leaves the party of Paul after just one part of their mission. In fact, the, Paul was so upset by him leaving that when Barnabas later suggested they take uh, Mark with them on a later journey, he refused to take him. Um, and it, it led to Barnabas and Saul separating and going their different ways. Um, but I guess this reading shows that we can make mistakes and God can restore us and still use us. Our life is not over because of one mistake. The Lord can forgive and raise us up and use us again in his work. Almighty God, who enlightened your holy church through the inspired witness of your evangelist Mark, grant that we being firmly grounded in the truth of, of the gospel, may be faithful to its teaching both in word and deed, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.